Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and it is day four of my week of Facebook Lives. Uh, week meaning Monday through Friday, and I've had to jump all over the time uh, calendar, not calendar, but the uh, schedule because I had multiple meetings and things this week. Um, but I just decided that I was going to jump in and do it anyway and um, just come on when I could. So that's what I'm doing. And today I intended to be here at six. And uh, yeah, dinner ran late. And I do cook dinner for my hubby every night. So that is an important thing for us. And so I needed to, uh, yeah, that ran a little later than I expected it to. So <coughs> welcome, welcome. Oh boy, I think I'm going to need some water. Hang on. <coughs> All of a sudden, something caught my throat. Oh boy, let's see. Are we missing our, our live feed? All of a sudden, the. Uh, ay, 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 what happened there? Oh, Lord have mercy. What's going on here? It's giving my ceiling fan now. What's happened? Huh. What is going on? Facebook has just... Well, are we back on? On the computer, it's gone. Let's see. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. I don't know if my stream, my live stream is going wonky or what. Okay, no, okay, I'm there. Interesting. Okay, well, no, it's giving me wonky things on the computer. Let me know if I'm not showing up for you. Okay, proceed. Thank you so much for sharing. Karen is here from Iowa. Corinne is here. Welcome, welcome, ladies, and thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to kick off with is um, this is my newest Cards with a Twist. That is a monthly class by mail that I run as both a club or a class, depending on what you prefer. And so the club means you have a subscription, comes out automatically, you know, PayPal just bills you every month and takes it out automatically. And then you don't have to think about it. You don't have to register for it. It's already there. You get special pricing with that option. And you do also get a really nice product bonus every six months. So um, for March, I'm doing Silly Goose. I love, love, love this stamp set. And so I typically will feature a bundle in Cards with a Twist. But I love, love, love this stamp set. I think it has so many opportunities, creative opportunities. And so with this class by mail, you don't get the stamp set. You'd have to order that separately, or you can add it on with my uh, event. Um, you're going to get a half pack of this beautiful Hues of Happiness paper, super bright colors. You get one side is like heavy florals, and the other side has these little designs or these big watercolor watercolor wash designs. You also get a pack, this is only a half, but you get a pack of these um, glossy dots. You get a roll of this pink, uh, polished pink ribbon because you're gonna use that on your cards, on your project. So let me show you. Cards with a twist, I do two each of four designs with a twist. So here's my twist, you can see. I sometimes twist the orientation, sometimes it's um, the colors, lots of different ways to do the same card in two different ways. So this one I did change, yeah, so one is portrait, one is landscape, and I just love the, uh, a silly goose told me it's your birthday. You've got a friend in me, there's, that fro there's another frog, I've been on the frogs this week. Um, this Goosebumps is such a cute, such an adorable little greeting. Now, 
you know, these come to you with all of these dies, all the die cuts, cutting is done. Everything's ready to go for you. The only thing you cut is your designer series paper. Everything else is prepped and ready for you to stamp and assemble. Hey, Char from Wisconsin. Welcome, welcome. And then this is, I always do one full, fun fold. Well, I say always. Typically, I do at least one fun fold. Hi, Crystal. I'm glad you're here. So this one is um, using the designer paper as your fun fold element. And I love this because it says sending a big honk and thanks. And so I've done that with two different backings, back, uh, background papers. But this piece of paper is actually the same piece of paper. I just flipped it around. So on this one, you see how I did it? So super fun paper, super fun designs. Love, love, love the geese. So that is Cards with a Twist for March. Sherry, welcome, welcome. Hello, Holly, welcome. So tonight I have a quick card for you. Uh, it is another one of my uh, virtual class cards. So thank you to those of you who have already placed an order whereby you will get the card packets that I am demonstrating for this week. Um, here we go. So here we go. The card packets that I'm demonstrating Tuesday through Thursday, you get four different card packets uh, for free in the mail when you shop with my host code, and that is through Sunday only. Um, let me show you quickly. This is where we went last night, um, and this was um, featuring the animal, like an animal designer series paper. I did manage to get this up on my blog today. Um, this is my original. We kind of redid it a little bit by just adding a little bit of ink with our blending brushes. I actually really like these both. And so that's one of the card packets you get. And let's see where we're gonna go tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna feature this bundle, but what I've kind of featured all week is stuff you can get for free. Um, because this, I didn't limit myself just to, to celebration. I also kind of dug into some of the host, um, the host, exclusive items. This is one of the stamp sets you can get for free, and this is called su Sending Support. Um, so tonight, I'm going to feature a paper that you can get for free. Let me just show you the bundle I'm using. is called Something Fancy, and it's on page 83 of the mini catalog. And interestingly enough, they're featuring it, showing it with the animal, like an animal paper, which is what I used last night, and they added color to theirs as well. But I'm also going to uh, refer you to near the back of the big annual catalog, page 179. These are the host uh, items that you can get, and this is the host benefit. So this is what we talked about. You know, they call it party sales. You can be your own party. You can place a $150 order, or you can gather orders from a couple of friends. And then you're going to get 10% stamp and rewards. And then it goes up. So if you have a $200 party, you still get 10%. So you would get $20 in free. $300 party, it's going to go up to 12%. So as you place a larger and larger order, again, whether that's your order or a combination of orders, your host rewards goes up. Now, these are all host exclusive items. And the one I'm using tonight is this big pack of paper, 48 sheets, and you can get that totally free with your Stampin' Rewards. So, let's see. I think we're gonna stamp first and then I'm gonna show you the pretty paper we're using. So this is the way your card packet comes in the mail for you, all ready to go. Oh, you can see some of the fun we're gonna have. So I'm actually gonna use Blackberry Bliss and I've already cut. This is one of the tags. Now, all of these can be cut with your mini cut and emboss machine and that's the one you can get for free right now with the joining special. So you can do the starter kit, and if you do it at the $129 level, you choose $175 of product, and you get the stamp and cut, the mini cut and emboss for free. So this is the smaller of this tag. I mean, this is a great, great bundle. You could definitely put this into your starter kit uh, purchase. Great way to use that. Oh, I guess I do need the stamp. I didn't get the stamp out, did I? Do I have the stamp out? No, I do not. 
I think this is such a cute stamp. Um, this one says, nothing fancy, just love. Now, I already did one like that, so I think I'm going, and I'll show you. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the thank you, just to kind of change it up a little bit, because that's going to be the only change I make tonight. I do like to change things up on you, but that's the only change I'm going to make tonight, because I really don't want to change. Uh, you know what? Let's start with the paper. Let's, I was going to do the stamping first, but let's just go ahead and start with the paper. Now, you could, you know, kind of, you could change the, um, the way the paper's laid out if you wanted to, but, and you do, you know, when you place your order and you get the card packets, you do get the PDF tutorials. So, having said that, I have the dimensions written down here somewhere. Can I find it? Oh, yeah, there it is. So, I can give it to you verbally. So, um... This is a five and a quarter by four, Blackberry Bliss. And then um, I'm just backing it on a thick, basic white cardstock base. Now, just a quick um, reminder that we have regular basic white cardstock and we also have the thick. The, the regular is meant for layering and holds our ink really well. This holds our ink really well also, but it's extra thick. It's the same weight as our other cardstocks, colored cardstocks. And so you kind of want to have that extra heft. Now, I'm going to do this. This is the way I'm going to lay mine out. But I could. Now, this is if you have a pen handy. This is five by one and a half. This is three by two and a half. And this is two and a half by one. So we're making kind of a, a little bit of a quilt pattern here. Now, I could... You know, if I wanted to really go all in on Blackberry Bliss, um, if I wanted to soften things up, I could go there. Um, you can see how these can really, you know, be changed around. Having said that, I really, really like the way that I had it out to begin with, so that's what I'm going to stay with tonight. Um, to me, I think it's um, not to be improved upon. And this little design here, which is super cute, has the little arches. You do want to make sure that your arches are heading in the right direction. And then, oh, yeah, that's going to go there. And we have just a little bit of space in between that effectively gives your designer series paper a little bit of a frame. Now, I will also say the other way that you can get the PDF tutorials for this free is when you purchase that starter kit. So my team gets all of my PDF tutorials for free. And, you know, I sell them for $15 or $12, depending on how many. Actually, even, I think the, the ones for retreat are like 20 because there's so many projects in them. But um, my team gets them for free. And that is meant in, uh, well, it's meant to be a perk of being part of my team. It also encourages them in their stamping because then you have all the dimensions laid out. You have everything, uh, you know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And then also, um, you don't ever have to have a party as a demonstrator. You don't have to, you know, take orders from people, anything like that. However, if you wanna have a few friends over to stamp with you or if you do want to, um, you know, earn a little bit of cash, to uh, feed your crafting habit, then um, these, uh, my classes, are tried and true classes, ready to go. And so it kind of just takes the guesswork out for you. Now, you can see my, my cutting wasn't exactly, so I had to adjust a little bit. Okay, that looks better. So, um, yeah, being part of my team allows you to get all of the uh, PDF tutorials for free. And you will not find a better joining special. I know I'm at the very end, but let's see if I can get a little bit more out of that. Um, let's see. You won't find a better starter kit deal, I don't think ever. Um, and if you don't want the mini cut emboss, because maybe you already have one, or maybe you just don't think you'd use one, you have a big one, and you're like, yeah, I think that's going to be enough for me. Then you can do a $99 plus tax. Shipping is free. 
and you still get to choose the $175 of products and you only pay $99 plus tax. Shipping is free and you get a free paper pumpkin. And then of course on my team, you would get all of my PDF tutorials for free, which is incredible value as well. Okay, so that is all ready to go. You can see now, this is the way your card packet comes. You could put anything on there. Um, I am going to just stamp this thank you on here. I will say the fonts on this is the font on this. It's actually the same font on everything is absolutely tremendous. Now I'm using Versamark and this pad, this Versamark pad seriously is about probably at least 12 years old. I mean, they just keep on going and it is on unavailable status right now. So that's a bit of a bummer, but once you get one, you know, you will have it for a long, long time. Now I'm just gonna use, I could get my little tweezers out. I'm just gonna grab this with my finger and shake that off. This is the silver embossing powder. So I like to keep mine in a little container where I can squish it around in there. I like to dip and shake to, um, to get my little, um, my embossing powder on there. Now, I should have used an embossing buddy. I was being lazy. So let's see if I can get the excess. And to be honest, truth be told, I think it might be okay if I have a little bit of extra on here because I think it's just kind of that way. I think it will end up looking pretty cute anyway. I'm just going to use this to anchor this down. And I'm going to use my heat tool. Now, again, I've had this for a long, long time. Stampin' Up! Heat, uh, heat Tool does have a one and a two. Now, the one is if you are embossing on the vellum, the one will help keep it from buckling. Two is where you normally want to be. And I do like to let it heat up for just a couple of seconds. And then I am just going to hold it like so. And you don't want to wave it around. You want to just hold it in place until it begins to melt that powder. If you, if you wave it around, it will still work. It'll just take you forever. <laughs> so when you wave it around, you're in, you know, you have more air moving it, which actually doesn't help you because then you have, um, you know, it's letting the cool air mix with the warm air. And you need that hot air to really, um, really set the heat uh, or to set the powder. Now, I'm going to do one other little thing on here, and I'm going to show you the difference. Now, I could just put this on here, and there's a lot of tone on tone going here. But one of the favorite things I love to do, and you can do this with the blending brushes, or you can do it with the little... Um, uh, sponge daubers, which is what I'm going to use tonight. So this is my Blackberry Bliss ink pad, and I'm just going to come along here, and I'm going to add um, some ink. Now, I can pick it up like this and do it like so, or I can lay it flat. Whatever kind of works easier for you, particularly with a small piece, this is really effective. And I'm just covering all the edges with that Blackberry Bliss, ah, Blackberry Bliss, Blackberry Bliss ink. And let me show you the difference it makes. You see how that just gives almost like a little shadow? It's almost like drop shadow on a computer. So that is what we're going to do. Now, I could put like a little ribbon up here or something, but I wanted to keep this super simple to really have the... Um, actually, I'm going to use my black dimensionals here. To keep the... Um, to keep, let the papers really do their work. Like I said, this is kind of one of those patchwork quilt. Once you have the dimensions on this, you can do this over and over again with different papers. It's a great way to use up your uh, designer series paper strips, kind of a strippy card. Now, on my original, I used regular rhinestones. But I think, can I find my original? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's see. My original card is here somewhere. Hmm. Um, it 
may reappear. I've got all my Silly Goose cards there. Well, what I was going to show you was the comparison, but I think I'll just leave it for now. I think I'm going to use these. This is the champagne uh, rhinestones. And what I think is going to happen here is this is going to pick up that little bit of petal pink in there and just be a little bit softer and maybe not compete with that, um, with the silver. I've already got silver. And of course, when you put the, uh, the regular rhinestones on there, you just kind of have more silver. So I'm just going into three of these scallops and just highlighting it a bit like so. So just kind of a simple, elegant touch added to my super fun um, strippy card. Little kind of a, it's kind of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of a quilt pattern. So let me grab this and while I'm doing that, maybe I will find my original. So again, this is one of four card packets you get for free when you place an order this week with my host code. Now remember, we are in celebration. So if you get a, if you place a $50 order, of course you will also get in addition to my really cute card packets, you will also get um, a, a free celebration item. I can't find that card to save my life. <laughs> ay ay ay. This happens every time. So that is it for tonight. A super quick and easy uh, quilt pattern card made special with a little bit of heat embossing, a little bit of tone on tone sponging, and a little bit of bling. Just a little bit of bling. I wanted to find that other one to show you what it looks like. Ah, there it is with the silver bling. Okay, and honestly, this one also, because I used a larger greeting, there's more silver there. So you can see side by side the difference. Other than that, everything is the same. So just a little bit of change. And I will say I didn't use the embossing buddy here, so I've got a little bit of silver spatters. Kind of looks cool, I think. Here, it, I've got a much cleaner look because I, um, I was a good girl and used my embossing buddy. So that's it for tonight. I've got a meeting at 7 o'clock. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tomorrow is my last day this week. I'll be on at 2 o'clock p.m. And like I said, I've been all over the show, but I've got another meeting tomorrow night. And so um, this is uh, coming at various times. But I appreciate so much when you are watching the replay that you just comment that you are here watching the replay. Don't forget, when you share the video, you go into the drawing for that particular video. And I'm doing five drawings this week, five Facebook Lives. And each one of these is downloaded to YouTube and uploaded to my blog so you can watch it easily again and hopefully get inspired for your card making. That is it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care and God bless.